Ladies and gentlemen, it's time to blast off into the latest space news. Today we have a story that could change our understanding of the universe forever. The topic we're discussing is life on Venus. Venus is one of the planets that has been studied by astronomers for a long time. But in late 2020, there was a surprising discovery that challenged our understanding of the planet's atmosphere. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss anything from the world of space exploration. In late 2020, scientists studying Venus's atmosphere announced the discovery of a chemical called phosphine. Phosphine is primarily produced by living organisms on Earth, which led to scientists questioning whether it was a sign of life in Venus's atmosphere. However, subsequent studies called into question whether phosphine was ever present at all. Recently, in March 2021, a new study led by Rakesh Mogul of Cal Poly Pomona confirmed and expanded on the original discovery of phosphine. The study suggested that other biologically relevant chemicals in Venus's atmosphere appear to be out of balance, which is another sign of life. The new research focused on reanalyzing data from the old Pioneer Venus mission, which launched four probes into Venus's atmosphere in 1978. The data from the largest probe was analyzed by the scientists, and the findings were published in Geophysical Research Letters last year. The presence of several minor chemical species in Venus's clouds, including phosphine, hydrogen sulfide, nitrous acid, nitrite, nitric acid, nitrate, hydrogen cyanide, and possibly ammonia, suggests that Venus's clouds are not at equilibrium. This imbalance in the atmosphere could potentially be evidence for redox disequilibria, or processes suggestive of life. On Earth, microbes use the redox disequilibrium found in natural environments such as water to generate energy. Could something similar be happening in Venus's atmosphere? Are parts of the atmosphere potentially habitable for microorganisms? The Pioneer Venus data are significant because they were obtained in situ in the atmosphere itself rather than remotely by Earth-based telescopes, as the other data from last year were. The disequilibrium in the Earth's atmosphere is caused by life, but it is unknown whether the same is true for Venus. This latest study supports that possibility, but more data, most likely from a return mission, is required to be certain. Astronomers believe that this type of disequilibrium could be used to look for signs of life on exoplanets. Wouldn't it be amazing if the first evidence came from somewhere much closer to home? Today, the surface of Venus is uninhabitable, with temperatures of 840 degrees Fahrenheit, 450 degrees Celsius, and crushing atmospheric pressure. However, the middle layers of the atmosphere are temperate and Earth-like in temperature and pressure, despite the fact that the clouds contain a lot of sulfuric acid. However, there is growing evidence that the planet was much more Earth-like earlier in its history, with rain, lakes, and oceans. Something happened less than a billion years ago that caused a catastrophic greenhouse effect, transforming Venus into the hellish world we see today. Could there have been some kind of microscopic life that sought refuge in the clouds away from the burning surface? Perhaps. It will be very interesting to see what other follow-up studies say about this latest chapter in the enigma of phosphine on Venus, as well as the possible disequilibrium. As Mogul put it, there are always mysteries to be solved, and I think what we just showed is that sometimes old data can reveal new stories. This is all a process, and moving forward is what science is all about. As scientists continue to analyze the data from the Pioneer Venus mission, and new missions are planned to explore Venus in more detail, the possibility of life on this neighboring planet becomes more intriguing. The discovery of phosphine and other chemicals in the atmosphere of Venus provides tantalizing evidence of the possibility of life beyond Earth. However, it is important to note that the presence of these chemicals does not necessarily mean that there is life on Venus. There may be other explanations for their presence. Regardless, the search for life in the universe is an important quest that has captured the imaginations of scientists and the general public alike. The possibility of discovering life on another planet, even in the form of microscopic organisms, would be a game changer for our understanding of the universe and our place in it. The study of Venus and its potential for life also highlights the importance of space exploration and the need to continue to invest in this field. 
Only through continued exploration and scientific inquiry can we hope to uncover the secrets of the universe and our place within it. In conclusion, the discovery of phosphine and other chemicals in the atmosphere of Venus has raised the exciting possibility of life beyond Earth. As scientists continue to analyze the data from the Pioneer Venus mission and plan new missions to explore Venus in more detail, we may one day have definitive answers about the potential for life on this neighboring planet. Until then, the search for life in the universe will continue to be an important and fascinating area of scientific inquiry. And that's a wrap, Space Cadets. We've explored the mysteries of the cosmos and uncovered some mind-blowing discoveries today. But before we jet off into the vast expanse of space, I want to remind you to hit that like button faster than a rocket launch and subscribe to our channel so you don't miss a single update. After all, if you don't subscribe, how else will you keep up with all the latest space news and impress your friends with your newfound knowledge? Thanks for tuning in and remember, keep your feet on the ground, but keep reaching for the stars. Or in this case, keep your feet off the ground and reach for the stars. Click on the video on your screen and let us take you on to another space adventure.